Today we're going to use the Shatter effect in After Effects to extrude text. The first thing we're going to need to do is go up to Composition, New Composition, and I'll just make a new composition here. Just leave it at DV. And then we'll need some text, so I'll just go to my Text tool, and we'll just type in how about 3D text. I could choose my font, etc. over here. I'm, I'm all good with this, though, just plain text. Now, just a, a word of warning before we go any further. There's not really a whole lot we're going to do. It's going to be pretty plain text, but it's going to be extruded. Uh, it's not going to be able to have really edge color or anything like that, but it will have depth. So our next step here is going to be to go to Layer New, and we're going to need to make a solid. Now, the solid color that we select here is going to be uh, the color of the text. So if we wanted it blue, we'd need to select blue. If we wanted it green, we'd select green. We'll hit OK. And then to this layer, we're going to apply Effect, Simulation, Shatter. Now at this point, I can turn off this 3D text layer, and let's just concentrate on our solid layer here. Well, the first thing we're going to want to do is open up Shape. And right now, it's set to Bricks. So what this effect is doing is it's just blowing up whatever layer you have, in our case, a solid, and it's Bricks, and it's just exploding. So if we went to View and change this to Rendered, we'll be able to see our green layer. And then here we go. If we scrub, we can see it just explodes into bricks. Well, the first thing we need to do is change this from bricks to our text layer. So if I go Pattern, I'll select Custom. And from Custom Shatter, I'm going to select our text layer, 3D Text. So you'll see uh, there's our text layer. And if we scrub forward a little bit, you'll see, oh, there it goes. It's still, still kind of exploding, though. Well, the way Shatter works is it has two different forces. By default, the first force is on. So if we look here, and we looked at View, Wireframe, and Forces, you'll see this big circle, and this kind of represents what's exploding. The easiest way to keep this from exploding is either change the radius or the depth. If you move the depth to a point that will never hit the text, well, the text will never explode. Uh, but in the like fashion, if you change the radius to zero, nothing will explode on that layer. So if I put the radius to zero, we'll go back up here to view, we'll change this to rendered, there's my text layer, and if I scrub forward here in the timeline, nothing's exploding. Well the next thing we're going to need to do is actually extrude this. So if I drop this down, go up to shape, you'll see extrusion depth. Well to be able to tell that it's really extruded, we're going to need to kind of look at it from a different angle. So to, to look at it from a different angle, we have a couple options. Uh, Shatter has a built-in camera effect, so if it came down here, we could change Y rotation. And you can see we've extruded that text, so you can see by using this extrusion depth under shape, we're able to either have just a slight extrusion, or we can make a really long extrusion. Another option, though, here in After Effects is that if we add a composition camera, so if we go Layer New Camera, go back to that solid layer. Under camera system, we can use the composition camera versus the camera that's here in Shatter. So if I go to composition camera, then go up to my camera at the top here, the unified camera tool, I can use that unified camera tool to rotate around this text. Another option we can look at is under Lighting. Shatter has a built-in lighting effect uh, and some settings that we can play with to control intensity. We can control the light source, be a you know, point light. Um, we can control the depth and all that good stuff. But a little more powerful is we can go to Lighting and change the light type to our first comp light. And if we went to Layer, New, Light, we'll just keep it at Spotlight. What you might want to do is turn this uh, solid layer into a 3D layer, just so the light will affect it. And if we drop down any of the properties here for transform, we could change the point of interest. And you can see that that light is now affecting that layer. If we go to the camera, our camera still will work here, and we can rotate around this text. And like I said earlier, uh, you can go back up to Shape, Extrusion Depth, and that will determine how deep that extrusion is. 
So that's how you use Shatter to make 3D extruded text here in After Effects.